And I want to congratulate you on Babylon. I mean, it's thought-provoking, wildly entertaining. I could not get my eyes off of the screen. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And you are fantastic as our Lady Faye Zoo. But before we talk about your character, take us to, from the very, very, to the very basics. What, what made you want to join the cast of Babylon? What got you well, interested? I mean, I when I first received the email, it just said Damien Chazelle. And then I looked maybe two lines below that and it said Anime Wong. And I automatically just said, yes, I have to have this. I didn't even know what it was called. I said, what? Damien, Anime Wong. Yes. Yes, I have to. And so, you know, and then I just went down a really intense rabbit hole trying to research her as best as I could. And this was right before pandemic hit. It was a few months before pandemic. And um, you'd be surprised how much more information we have on Anime Wong today versus just nearly three years ago or two wow. and a half years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lots of reading, lots of watching her films and then I was cast and uh, Damien emailed me and said, actually, she's not Anime Wong, but she's um, a fictional character based on her. So, yeah. mm -hmm. And that dramatic entrance, by the way. <laughs> all that stop. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Talk to us about Lady Faye Zoo. I mean, describe her to our viewers. You are you're right. She's almost like an amalgam of anime wong. That's what mm -hmm. I was like. Oh wow, it's anime. So um I personally think that she is very close to anime wong. Um, besides the fact that uh, Lady Faye is a title card writer. Um, she is a performer, which anime was, um, and she dances. I don't know if anime sang because I didn't really find any footage of her singing. But um, Damien and I met about three months prior to production. And I call it my three-day Damien masterclass intensive, where he sat me down and we just worked through every scene, talked through every scene that we had with Lady Faye. And he showed me his classic films that inspired uh, some of the scenes that he had written for her. And that includes uh, the scene, the opening sequence with Marlena Dietrich, which is, um, sorry, the opening scene, the song is inspired by Marlena Dietrich's performance in Morocco. Um, and then there's also, talks about where we want her voice to sit some in the beginning we explored some higher more whispery sounds and yeah. she's very delicate and she's just she kind of flows through everything and then it wasn't until after we started production did Damien actually change his mind and then we started exploring the lower tone lower octave sounds um but yeah, there were just, we tried different things and we figured out what worked and what didn't work. And what was most important to me was that um, despite playing a fictional character, I wanted her to tell the story as um, honestly and as real, uh, despite how ugly it was, uh, to let our audience really understand what she had to go through a hundred years ago. I totally, totally agree. That lower baritone voice, though, and and that song that I cannot mention. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I love the song. I mean, it's kind of like oh, but <laughs> but Babby, you know what? At, at its heart, though, Miss Lily, Miss Lily, in a way, this film is about how Hollywood dreams are formed and how they are simultaneously crushed as well, right? Yes. Yes. Um, I love this quote. I'm not quoting her word for word, but Anime Wong did say that success is not a jewel that you can purchase and keep and fame is fleeting and you have to enjoy it while it's there and understand that you're, as, as long as you're in the limelight, it's really up to the judgment of those um, in the audience. Right, exactly. They determine how long you stay there. Yeah, my final question. Babylon is being released on December 23rd. What do you hope for viewers to get after watching the film, Lily? I really hope that this will inspire people to return to the cinemas. I think that with the convenience of the streaming service and of obviously the pandemic, um, I hope that this will 
bring people back into the theater because it's such a great experience. You know, you enjoy a film that no matter how big your home theater is, you can't achieve that same result than if you were in the cinemas. Exactly. I totally agree. A big congrats on Babylon again, Lily. It's a wild ride about all about the industry we all love. And it's also a, a love letter to Hollywood, I think, and to all those dreamers. Yes, yes, 100%. Oh, well, thank you so much. Good luck on everything, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Take care.